Tonight I'm going to look at VLOOKUP, HLOOKUP, Average, Sum, Min and Max. So, first of all, VLOOKUP. I put my cursor there. When you do VLOOKUP, you're expected to take this table and make sure it's sorted in ascending order. OK, so we've done that. I've done that already. Put my cursor there. I go up to Insert Function, FX, there. And the most recently used one was VLOOKUP, so I'm going to OK that. There it says it, by the way. By default, the table must be sorted in an ascending order. Right, the table has been sorted in ascending order. Right, so... Step 1. Lookup value. That's that. Table or array. That is that one. And remember to make it absolute. Which column do I want to look into? There's column 1. There's column 2. Well, I have the numerical mark. I want the alphabetical one, so column 2. The number comes up already here, so let's OK that. There it is. I'll center it by going up to the center, and then I can just drag it down. OK. Now I'm going to put my cursor there, and this time I'm going to look for H lookup. All right, H lookup. I go along to FX. There's H lookup because I've already been using it before, so it's on the most recently used list. But if it wasn't, I'd go to all, click on here, and type H, and then H again, and there it is. OK. Same thing. Look up value. I'm looking up that. Move the cursor down. Where's the table or array? Well, I'm looking on this table down here. Make it absolute. Press F4. Row number. Row 1, row 2. So press row 2. OK. And there it is. Chandelier with 15 scored an A. OK, and I can drag it down. Now let's look at average. Uh, I seem to have left a total there. Let me just take that off for a second. Right, average. Put the cursor there. Go up to FX. Average is just down here. There it is. Average. OK. So what am I looking for the average of? I've got some marks here. So let's take the average mark. I need to highlight all of those marks. And there, it's given me the result there. 67.8. But of course, it will put it there. I want to get the total marks there. But the simplest way is to put the cursor there and go up to the sum there. Auto sum. Press that once. Press it twice. There's the answer. If I put my cursor there and type equals, come down to here and click on to there, that's it. All right, let's go down to here now min. I go up to FX, go to all and type M, 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 M. I just keep typing M until I get the right one. There's min. What's it suggesting? It wants the minimum marks amongst all of that lot there. Don't include the 678. 
and there it is, 15. Max works in a similar way, up to fx. Down here, type m, m, there's max, OK that. Similar sort of thing, don't include the 6, 7, 8. There are all the marks, OK that. So you can see the maximum mark is 99. Now this is dynamic. If I change one of these marks, Palacia bets down to 12, the average would change, the min would change, the total would change. OK. Thank you very much.